my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Tegan and today I'm going to be doing the 25 bookish facts about yours truly so let's just jump right into it fact number one I'm a fancy whore getting it out of the way moving on <laughs> fact number two is that I read at night when I should be sleeping but I don't and I often lie to myself either saying by I need to find out what happens to this character or just one more chapter so number three, I don't mind listening to audiobooks, reading ebooks, or having a physical book. My, I don't really have a general preference. Each serves a purpose for me, and when I need that purpose, that's the time I tend to read those books. Although, maybe I do have a preference. Something about nice about having an actual book in your hand. To number four, I tend to have multiple versions of the same book across the different devices. I'll tend to have the audiobook, ebook, and physical. I am supporting those authors. <laughs> also, uh, if I really like the if I don't like the book, won't probably get it. But if I do, I tend to get the multiple uh, versions. Fact number five: trying new books and reading new series, as I've mentioned before, is difficult for me. I don't know why I struggle so much with this. The fact that some of my favourite books. I've discovered by reading new books and I'll probably have new favorites if I read more books but it's hard and people tend to need to force me hence why I now have you guys or my channel I guess not specifically you or maybe if you want it to be specifically you you can um, but you know now I have this channel and reason to read more books and try new things and get out my comfort zone of my little reading horde of the same seven books over and over again. I have a habit of binging books. I will read an entire book within a couple days and then I'll like have a break from reading which I need to get out of because I'm now trying to read multiple books at the same time. But yeah I binge books. That That's a bookish fact about me. Number seven I will always do my best to try and answer as many if not all. I say as many. I don't have that many comments. I will try and answer all the comments down below. Uh, even if it's just saying thank you, um, just because I like to have that interaction. And if you guys ever just want to chat to me about a book specifically or have a continued con conversation, you can always come message me on Twitter. Is that a shameless self-plug? Maybe a little bit of shame, but it is a self-plug. Uh, you know, come chat to me anytime. I'm always happy to talk about any books. Even books that you're reading that you should say, hey, you should read this book. And I'd be like, oh, this book, I shall put it on my on my to, to read list. Number eight, when I was about 10 years old, I wrote a book and I was about 90% of the way through. And I was at my grandma and granddad's house and then the computer crashed, the data got corrupted and it broke my little child heart. And I stopped writing books for a long, long time until I was writing fan fiction. That's what spurred my want to write habit again. So that, that traumatized me as a kid. God damn it, crappy, crappy, uh, technology back then. Ru ruins. I, I could have been a famous author by now if it wasn't for that one computer. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend, no. Number nine. I try and keep my books in as pristine condition as possible. It's just how I like my books. If if I was a dragon, books would be my hoard. My, my books are like my little gems. Apart from gems are much easier to take care of because they don't get scratched or damaged as easily as a book does. And leading on from that, Fact, bookish fact number 10 is that I hate, it is the bane of my existence when someone cracks the spine of one of my books. Your books, it still hurts me internally, but it's your book and I'm not going to say anything. But if it happens to mine, I'm going to cry because you've hurt my book. You've hurt my gem. How dare you? <laughs> fact number 11. I'm terrible for updating Goodreads. I'm going to try and get better at it. I'm going to try and write some actual reviews on Goodreads instead of just saying yes I finished this book I'm currently reading this book maybe I should start updating that a bit better. <laughs> Fact number 12 I have never been to a book event apart from unless you count MCM London's Comic Con that was in like 2014. Fact number 13 is that I've never met an author that um you know I've loved the books of and, and it, I'd love to be able to meet someone whose work that they've you know gone through that process would be great to have, you know meet them get the book signed. Maybe one day. Fact number 14. I have, I don't tend to snack around my books um, unless it's my ebook. And if, it, if it's around my Kindle, it's fine. <laughs> it's not gonna damage the book. My physical books, no snacks. Most I'll have is like 
a bowl of water and even then it's like put the book down drink the water close the lid put it on the side continue with the book i just i just can't snack around my books i know some people do fair enough but not me number 15 there we go nearly missed it uh when i read i read whenever i can be it when i'm traveling to and from work if i'm in a five minute car journey and it's really antisocial i'll read then my dad is trying to talk to me about something that i really don't care about and he knows i don't care about it i hope that's funny <laughs> number 16 is the book i've read the most is probably poison study by maria v schneider because it's my favorite book as it stands number 17 when i eventually buy a house i'm going to have an entire wall that is a bookshelf or a bookcase my bookcase wall purely because i can't afford a house with a library in it therefore i'm gonna just have my library wall and that's that's gonna be mine fact number 18 <laughs> um i buy so many books that i haven't read because i like to be surrounded by books that i want to read but going back to a previous fact the idea of reading them i just want to read them i will read them eventually hence why i just did a 60 book book haul smart person fact number 19 if a book has a map something unique about it the pages are colored if it has special inlays if it has like drawings throughout the book i love that shit anything that makes a book more unique yes please give me that book i need that book in my life number 20 is that i prefer a paperback than hardback fact number 21 i feel like i'm dancing uh, i used to write fan fiction for a particular anime show that i'm not going to mention and if i had an idea for another fan fiction probably would write it i love fan fiction guilty pleasure just a pleasure it's not even guilty i i happy admit it fact number 22 uh, before starting my booktube channel i would read one book at a time and binge it but now i'm trying to read five books at a time am i succeeding maybe we'll see how uh, the next reading vlog goes but it's been fun it's been interesting trying to read multiple books at the same time fact number 23 i prefer to read in silence or if i'm going to have anything playing it's going to be the audiobook so i can either read quietly or if my dyslexia is really playing up i can then still read the book when listening to books it doesn't affect it thankfully so if i still really want to read i can just follow along fact number 24 um i hate books with covers no <laughs> what i hate book covers with people on it if the cover is drawn then it's not so bad like it's a design but if it just has a person on it or people makes me 90 percent less more I am so much less likely to buy that book because it has people on it. And bookish fact number 25. I do this very strange thing. And this is really embarrassing to admit, but I think it'll be funny. So I, when I go into a bookstore with my boyfriend, will browse about the books and get a stack that I can barely carry. Go over to him purely so he can say, you don't need that many books. Go put some back. And I'll be there like, mm, but I really want them. And he's like, can you afford to spend £200 on books? And I'm like, no, probably not. And then I go put them back, apart from like one. <laughs> but I would do this pretty much every time we go into a bookstore. So he's, and sometimes I do it on purpose to make him tell me these. Why? Does it make me a bad girlfriend? Probably. Am I really weird for it? Definitely. But that is the last bookish fact. I can't believe I just shared that last one with you guys. But honesty is the best policy and maybe admitting it and getting some shame from it will make me stop doing it probably I'm, I'm a terrible human being <laughs> that's it for this video let me know if you guys in the comments below have any bookish facts actually no just let me know five bookish facts about you guys if you can't think of five then do less it's not like i have to have five anyway uh you know it'd be great to have a conversation with your kind of habits about reading or things you like in books down below if you uh, have any ideas of what else you want me to do on my channel any suggestions are welcome down below uh, thank you so much for watching this video and look forward to seeing you guys in the next one bye